G'day dear friends, welcome to x Art. My name is Chrissy, and thank you for joining me today. Uh, today is um, Easter, Sta uh, Easter, oh, can't even say, Easter Saturday for those who are celebrating Easter, which includes me. Uh, and I just um, wanted to talk to you about what we've been doing here. So last week, uh, well first of all, this is a project which is on uh, pastel mat. Uh, if we're going to go for measurements, how much? What's the measurement? 25 by 34 centimeters. Uh, uh, anthracite. And what what I'm trying to achieve here is try to do a portrait with limited colors. Now, last week I said monochrome, and I did in all honesty intentions have just one group of colors but after looking at this beautiful beautiful um, reference I could see other colors so I've included the red iron oxide but it's a group but it's pretty much those kind of colors that I'm just going to be using and black and white uh, g'day Cherry, hello, hello, and hi Karen, thank you for your lovely message, appreciate it. Um, okay, so also, no, I'm going to keep on, I'm going to keep on going while I'm talking about this. Uh, this project, or this reference, is a reference that is on a, uh, our Facebook group, Share Your Art with X Art. Share Your Art with x Art is a Facebook group where we continue the conversation from the live stream and because we talk about our projects and you know uh, usually you know we talk about how you know what we do um, art wise of course and uh, we want to share our work. Also sharing uh, for example <clears throat> uh, it could be your your profile like it could be like your Instagram page or you know if you wanted to do if connect that or if you find a video which is really useful for the group if you've been watching something or if you've found um, you know um, a really good art supply that you think the group would um, really enjoy and you put links to that so generally there's no real you know fussy rules and stuff like that, so long as we're nice to each other and, you know, no politics, uh, you know, I don't pretty, you know, no politics or anything like that, you know, it's all art related. So, got that out of the way. So share, on Share Your Art with x Art, we have a monthly challenge. When I say monthly challenge, it's more like a monthly inspiration. Uh, I, what I do every month I include three images. Uh, it could be anything, anything. Uh, and what you do is your, you know, I supply you with the reference. It is usually, almost always, a royalty-free reference where you can use uh, without any fears of copyright or anything like that. So that's the, that's the main thing. Now you can use any medium, any style, anything, right? And it's all it is. It really is a guide. Uh, and so, uh, and so, what's happened over some time now? Um, you know, there's a there's a a real interest, and um, everyone's been, or not everyone, but a lot of people are just tackling these projects. Now, of course. I don't, not that I don't want to, I don't have time to do these. And I thought, well, hang on a minute. I put up all of these um, inspirations and I don't do one myself. Uh, and I thought, well, that does it. I'm doing it. So this is one of them. Now I've put a reference. Uh, let me see. There we go. I've put, oh, this way. There we go. I've put a reference in. This is one of the inspirations and I decided that I was going to do this one so this is where the reference comes from now if you wanted to do this and you could probably do this um, almost side by side I suppose uh, but anyway the reference is there on share your art with x Art. I do have a link to that Facebook group um, you know become a member and um, you know go ahead I also wanted to say hello Nuria hello 
Abigail. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, Nuria, the birthday girl. Birthday lady. Are we girls? Yes, we're girls. Yes, we're girls. Uh, we'll always be girls, won't we? <laughs> okay, so what I've done now is I've got my palette here, and it's a mixing palette, and it's just a paper. A car it could be cartridge paper. I used to use white. But I've decided now I can judge my colours even better with something that is a neutral colour. Now you can't tell, but it's sort of like a, I don't know, a warm grey-ish, something like that. Oh, g'day Angie, hello, how are you? Alright, so, so I hope everyone is well. Uh, you know, last week I wasn't sure whether I was going to do this stream, but it just so happens that it sort of doesn't interfere too much with um, uh, with what I'm doing family-wise. And when I say family-wise, um, Easter. I celebrate Easter. Uh, in fact, I celebrate two Easter's. Um, one is the Catholic Easter, and then the other one is the Orthodox Easter, because... Um, uh, yeah, so I, I celebrate two Easter's. I've been doing that all my life. Um, yeah, so anyway. So I thought I can do this. I've got some time off. And um, I'm doing it. Um, now also, while I'm here, I can see some of the people. When I say some of the people, there's a few. Uh, there's a, a group painting that I'm organizing and unfortunately I mean sorry it's taken so long to, to get it together but I finally have and what I have done and I'll explain what the group painting is uh, for those who are in this which is Abigail, Nuria and Nuria, Abigail, Nuria and Angie, Angie um, uh, you have got your group pieces uh, now if there are two which I can't get a hold of one of them is Heba and the other one is uh, and the other one is Horsewoman 2000 uh, if you're looking if you're looking at or if you're viewing this live stream please get in contact with me so I can send you your piece um, it is really really important that you do that um, Yes, so I have tried to reach out to Heba, so I'm waiting, and I've um I can't I, I don't know uh, with Horsewoman I don't know what your um uh like what your name is or what you, what you where contact details where I can perhaps maybe an email or something uh and uh, let me see double pa yeah double party Abigail <laughs> it's all my life I've been doing this all my life. Um, okay, Angie says, I have been busy expecting my fourth grandbaby. Oh, I am a, yes, you are a young grandma. I've seen photos of you. You're too young to be a grandma. Oof. And congratulations. Um, ah, yes, love this group piece. I start that tomorrow. Oh, wonderful. Okay. All right. Now the hot. Now I'll explain the group painting. Every I think every year and Abigail, I think you can correct me, please. Um, I think it's probably about three or four. Oh, Sneaks! Hello, how are you going? Um, and Sneaks is in this. Sneaks, I've sent you your group piece. Have a look at uh, your Facebook Messenger. Now, if the people that have received their group pieces um, I can send it also via email okay uh, if you wish so let me know okay so the group painting is something that we've been doing for about I don't know maybe about it's got to be about three or four years it has to be maybe three years I think three years let's just say three years so what happens is that you know normally doing art is quite um, uh, is quite solitude isn't it like you're 
you know it's not um, so much as a group activity so back then back then we decided that we were going to uh, do that let's do a group painting together and so what what the deal is is that everyone gets a little portion now no one knows what this picture is all about all you know is that, that it's just this one little portion and what you do is you can use any medium any size anything because what happens is is that you're going to send me a digital image back and then what I do is I put it together like a jigsaw puzzle All right. The only thing that I ask is that you don't do sort of black and white or charcoal only because uh, because it's a group painting and I'm putting it all together. It'll look nice when it's all finished. So that's pretty much what it is in a nutshell. So in this case, and so we've had people, we've had group paintings which were like almost, you know, uh, like in the high 20s. And sometimes it gets a bit too much. And so our friend Oksana, she said, uh, you know, are we going to do a group painting? I go, well, yes, but it's only going to be a few people because I can't, you know, if, if, if three or four people bow out on me, then I've got to sit there and, you know, people then put up their hands to do a second piece. And I don't want to, uh, you know, put people out or anything like that. Whilst they enjoy it, but, you know, it's not fair. So... I decided that, um, you know, and then I end up having to do a few pieces sometimes. So this time we've only got 12 people. Uh, it was the, you know, first in, first serve, pretty much. Uh, first in, first serve. So uh, done all that. So the, like I said, there's only two people that I'm waiting uh, to get in contact with me. So I thought I would bring it up uh, in the live stream. Should they be watching the live stream? <laughs> all right so you can see what I'm doing I'm mixing pans I'm mixing all kinds of colors and it's well not all kinds of colors because it's limited isn't it uh, well all kinds of shades I've got the red iron oxide group here and the burnt sienna group here uh, with my white and black and I do have raw umber tint, but I, I like that tint better for mixing rather than the white. Uh, and I don't know, maybe at the end, maybe at the end, I might put a bit of the copper in, which is sort of in line with these colours, for a bit of bling, because I think this one deserves a bit of bling. But that's only at the end, because if I don't do it now, I'm going to get all kinds of sparkles all over the place. Uh, yes, every year, always fun. Okay. Okay, you have it, Deb. All right, cool. Cool bananas. Uh, g'day, Shandri. Hello, another one who's who's in the um, in the group uh, group painting, Shandri. Yep. Um, Angie says, "Oh, I'm ex well. I'm excited for you to be a part of it too." And of course, this uh, this piece uh, this piece is royalty free. Okay, now you know sometimes like the references are digital. Like th I think that one is sort of part digital, part real. But anyway, I just looked at the image and I thought this would be great for the group because pretty much most of all of those pieces have got in interesting little bits with it. Some have got leaves and rocks. <gasps> better not say too much <laughs> but you know there's a variety of things for the artist to do with this so and of course you know you've got to keep it a secret once you've done it you've got to keep it a secret and send it to me you can't well you can't share it for example where we can see it so don't share it on share your art with x art or yeah you know what I mean because it's yeah we want to it, it needs to be a nice surprise G'day Debbie, hello, nice to see Debbie Bowen, we've got two Debs here, uh, g'day Debbie, or oh, Deb, <laughs> um, so glad that you could make it, uh, yeah, okay, another thing that I wanted to also talk about is the, the transfer paper that I use, now you can see the lines that I've used, they're not moving 
there's no residual bits from the tracing paper, the transfer paper, sorry, not the, tra the transfer paper. And it's something that I recommend totally. And so if you're ever asking and wondering, this is the one. This is Express It transfer paper. Now it comes in white and it comes in graphite. So I totally recommend this. In fact, it is so much so more stubborn that you've actually got to go over the lines and make sure, you know what I mean? So yeah, be careful maybe how far you, how hard you press on it, but um, I don't mind because I just layer and it just goes away after a while. Yes, yeah, so that's, uh, that's one that I wanted to share with you. And I know that there are some people that already know about that, but I'm just, um, I thought I'd bring it up for those who don't know and are wondering, because I do get questions. I do get um, questions. Yeah. Ah, uh, Galopasca. Okay, Ali, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, do we need to match the colors closely? Look, as close, I mean, uh, they don't have to be exact, exact, but as close as you could possibly get them. Uh, you know, because I tell you why, what I see on my screen when I'm looking at a reference, because I use my computer screen for a reference, and some people will have a little printout, photo, whichever. So each one like the colors are, you know, they, they are slightly different, of course. So, so I appreciate that. Just get it as close as you possibly can. That's all. And, you know, don't worry about it too much. So long as, because really what I do is I want you to have an, a, a nice time doing it. You know what I mean? And uh, be engaged and feel included. So that's what I wanted you. That's how, well, that's, that's the, the aim that's my outcome is for you to enjoy yourself uh cherry says yeah i bought that transfer paper the graphite is good but i think the white was a bad batch because it doesn't show up uh yeah well as you can see look i've used it on here so not sure cherry so, look on the lighter maybe on the lighter sheets it doesn't come up as much uh and sometimes like you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to indent in the sheet. So uh, I, I don't know, maybe using a, a stylus where, um, or even, oh, I'm not sure, maybe not a stylus, maybe just a sharp, maybe a pen, maybe using a pen, you know? Mm. Maybe, maybe using a pen. Uh, I can't find the recommended graphite paper in the US. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to have a look where it can be found, and I will. I'll put a link um, somewhere. Uh, well, Debbie, uh, you've um, uh, you've. Yeah, you've commented on my post, so maybe when I find, that's all right, when I find the link, I'll send it to you. Yeah, I, I just think it's, I mean, there are lots of ways that you can transfer. I mean, you can get like your cartridge paper and, you know, on the back, which is a lot of what, what a lot of people do, uh, artists do, sorry. You know, you get your sponge, maybe get a bit of white. I don't know if you're doing it on something dark, get a, a light colored uh, pastel, for example, um, and then, you know, trace over it or the opposite. Like if it's something, um, if it's on light paper, maybe do a darker pastel, maybe a sienna or I don't know, you know, it doesn't have to be pans. It could be a pastel. It could be graphite. Although I try to, although yeah, I, I'm just a bit careful with graphite, the actual graphite, because I know they express it, have got graphite too. But for some reason, it doesn't contaminate. This one, now that I think about it, it doesn't even contaminate what I've done. 
when I've used graphite. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So. And of course, the the technique that I'm using here is always slower. In fact, it's just probably a little bit faster than um, colored pencil, I would say. It, in terms of uh, application, because when you're using when you're using uh, pan pastels, uh, the idea is to use soft tools such as this, and which I use. I use everything. I use everything. I use everything. I use look hacked up brushes. I use anything that I can get my hands on. Anything. Anything that's going to give me the outcome that I'm looking for. Uh, okay. Okay, sometime I might try getting a new packet and see. Mm. I transfer uh, by using a pen on the back. See, there you go. There's lots of ways to transfer. But, um, yeah. I suppose it's because I can get this paper. Now, um, I get this from my local art shop in uh, where I am. I mean, I suppose they send international. The only problem is, is the uh, freight, you know, the delivery charge, paying delivery. No one wants to pay delivery. I know, neither do I, but here in Australia, it's like a given, you know. If there's something that I can't find in Australia and then I need to get it from, I don't know, Europe, UK, wherever, um, I'm forced to uh, accept the freight charges, which is astronomical, by the way. You know. Okay, um, I do use transfer paper, but different brands except for what you use. Yeah, there's the Sorrel. There is the Sorrel. You know, that's about the messiest thing that you could ever use. I would use it on canvas. I wouldn't use it on this. You know what I mean? Because when I use it on canvas, I fix it. When, oh, sorry, when I say fix it, I mean like using fixatives. I've got to clarify what I say. Yeah. Um, okay, I've seen that... I've seen that Derwent has new colours of ink, ink tents. They have a hundred now. Oh my gosh, oh my golly gosh. Serious, how did you come across that? Oh, of course, everyone, Abigail is our resident influencer. Actually, we have a lot of influences here. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, Debbie says, yeah, I do not like Sorrel. Not for, sh uh, not for sure of the spelling. Yeah, that's how you spell it, S-A-R-A-L. Yeah, I also use an overhead projector in pastel pencil. That is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, see, there are so many ways. So many ways. And this is just what I do, you know? So, definite, yeah. Okay. Now, here, when I'm looking at this, the three things that I see that... Oh, well, actually, four things... The four things about this painting that I've got to make sure that I get right. And I'm pretty um, casual about what happens up here. But the three things that I want to make sure that I get right is the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the lighting on this. These are the four things that I'm going to be really conscious of. So... because that's going to make or break because as you can see when you I'm just looking at the reference as you can see when you're looking at the reference here we go 
the, th the, the four things that are striking about this, apart from her being beautiful, like beautiful, beautiful, is the lighting. Probably, that's probably the most important first. Then the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Just hang on a sec. Sorry. Just had to close my door because there's going to be a lot of noise happening. So, well. And of course, you'll say, well, where, what about these brushes for all of those people? Yeah, it's, you know, it's a makeup bristle brush, but any bristle brush will suffice because all you want is a snap. Now this is quite firm. There's a snap. That's the only way that I would describe it. And of course this feels a bit different. And there are two kinds that I use. Uh, it's almost like a bright no, a bright is straight. Um, what's the word? Oh. Like a round, like a short round maybe. You know, and that's a little bit more fluffier, really good for blending. As you can see, look at the difference. But I also use brushes like this and I modify them, I cut them, you know, for details and stuff like that. So. All I'm trying to do is just get you to experiment and find what suits you. So uh, anyone in the group here doing any of these uh, inspirations? Yeah, just, just curious, just curious. Yeah. And the way I'm painting, you can see that, you know, the pastel's a bit stubborn. It's a combination of the paper, the application, the way I handle and put pressure on my pastel, on my pastel piece. Uh, some people struggle to use pastel pencils on top of a pan pastel layer. It probably is because you've filled the tooth real quick and heavily you know what I mean um, okay I'm working on the blue green feathered one okay Angie decided to paint uh, with acrylics Ooh. Ooh. Uh, which is my major oh it is coming along nicely very nice very nice Cherry says yeah I'm doing the first one slowly mm-hmm Okay, I was going to post my progress. Oh, go ahead. Absolutely, you should. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, you should. All right, so I want to get into the nose. Okay, and sorry, I'm looking around it's just because hubby's just about to um, go off riding and he's probably checking for the dogs to see where they are so he doesn't fly out and they fly out with him. Um, okay, oh, okay, Cherry, you might post yours too. Please do, please do. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, well, this music now that's now playing is most uh, mostly appropriate. Very African. Okay, um, I want to, too busy at the moment. All I can do at the moment is doodle in my tiny mushroom sh sh uh, 
mushroom sketchbook um i'll share cool stuff okay okay let's do it jerry <laughs> that's right share All right, so here we go. Uh, I've pulled out my little my little one, my little eighth of an inch angular brush because I just want to be careful around the nose. I just want to get bits and pieces right here. Uh, yeah. Yep, and uh, for all of those who are also interested, um, I also um, uh, I'm also on Patreon, uh, where we do really cool things there. Uh, where actually probably is uh, uh, Patreon with extra side is probably uh, intimate, if I can put it that way. Uh, intimate and a different feel uh, and probably more more tutorial based this uh, uh, my regular YouTube is more um, um, uh, is more casual is more casual but um, yeah so if you're interested there is um, a link there is a link in the description box below uh, check that out as well um, so I just thought I'd get the business out of the way the business out of the way so uh, you can see me dipping into certain pans uh, this is a good way to learn how to mix colors too you know Um, okay, it is not finished yet, but with all the holidays, there's too much time. Yeah, oh, there's not much time. Yes. Uh, Angie says, I'm also involved in acrylic April with the archer, but she's so nice, isn't she? I love her. She's so nice and learning so much. I should post and show you guys some of my skills. You should. Yes, uh, the Art Sherpa, she's into acrylics and um, actually it's been a while since I've viewed some of her videos but um, her hubby, um, her hubby uh, is like he's talking with her. He's not in it but he uh, he moderates the stream and talks, talks, doesn't he? Does he still do it? Um, Yeah. I think you know what? I I I love acrylics, but they don't like me as much as I like them. It's just it's just learning how to uh, change your painting style, and that's with every medium, hey. Uh, for example, you know, colored pencil, you know, that's one of my favorites too. I love colored pencil a lot. And of course, you know, you, um, it's almost like the same process as watercolor. You go from light, you know, light to dark. Whereas here, you're putting all the dark, like with oils, acrylics, and um, oils, acrylics, and pastel, you know, you start off with the darks and then you build. The only difference with me with acrylics is that it, it dries too quickly and it dries too quick for me to modify if I've made a mistake I think that's the issue I think with me um, whereas I think the pastels and the oils are a little bit more forgiving you know watercolor which I love so much um, is not forgiving as well colored pencils are not forgiving you know you make a mistake with colored pencil uh, you better get to those 
treating those mistakes early on because it's very hard to correct. Whereas with pastel, I think pastel is easier. Then comes oils, I would say. Maybe even Stevens, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Even Stevens and then... Yeah. Okay, um, okay, I've shared mine, says Cherry. Okay, it's taken, it's taken indoors with ceiling lights on, so colours may not be good. I'm sure it's good, Cherry. Uh, okay, yeah, John does, and they are a good pair, yes. Yeah. Now you'll notice that sometimes uh, for something dark, I don't normally use black on its own. I'm usually mixing with a color. Uh, and then I can then, if I need to go darker, I will in certain areas. And I think that's one thing that we're always worried about is going dark. And I think the only way with lighting is to make sure that your darks are dark, 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 where they should be, probably where they should be, and lights light where they should be. And I'm, you know, I'm like you in a lot of ways that, you know, sometimes you're a bit scared to go really dark. You know what I mean? Like, for example, with this, in this area here, this part of her is probably the dark, and there her shoulder, there's a shoulder, uh, okay, in this one I didn't put the shoulder, but when I see the reference. So what I'm trying to say is, is that, you know, I've got to make sure that I get those real dark to be successful with my lights. So I know this is something, oh, horsewoman, the person I wanted to speak to, thank goodness that you're here. Could you send me an email? Uh, could you send me an email of your address where I can send you your piece for the group painting? Please do that for me because I yesterday I distributed to all of the people doing the group painting I distributed and I was waiting on two people that I didn't have contact details and you were one of them. So could you please send me, um, I don't know, even maybe if you're not on Facebook, I'm not sure, a, a, an email or a direct email sorry a direct message on Facebook or somehow get in contact with me so I can send you your piece okay cool I'm so happy now that you're here <laughs> and that I've said that um, okay uh, Cherry says I find colored pencils so difficult I don't understand why when you leave them overnight they look faded and grainier ah oh, Cherry There's a colour pencil fairy that comes. No, 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 only joking, only joking. <laughs> and comes and does something to your painting, I am sure. Okay. Cherry says, dark is my nemesis. I know, Cherry, I know. Yes. But you know what? You're going to have to do it at some point. You know, just do it. Like, just do it. And what's the worst that can happen? I ask you. What's the worst? Now, some people would say, why wouldn't you use pastel pencils for this? True. And you can use pastel pencils, of course. Uh, but what I've found, and it's probably the way I paint, that if I use pastel pencil straight up in those little areas here, I'm going to um, destroy my tooth. And although it's pastel matte, and it's one of the best pastel papers and ever, ever ever and and it's coming a close second for colored pencil by the way I might add um, that's why I do this so then all I do then with my pastel pencil on top I'm able to you know adjust and stuff like that so that's why I use a little teeny weeny brush like that and see this, I didn't buy this brush like that. I'm, I modified it. I, I trimmed it down. This one is an eighth of an inch. 
right? A synthetic brush, but it's got the right bristle snap. Okay, you have a coloured pencil pixie, do you, <laughs> Jerry? <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Um, uh, yes, Abigail says try using OMS. Hmm? Yes, I've tried OMS. Still getting the hang, uh, still getting the hang of it, and the amount to use. Oh yeah, you only need just a touch, don't you? Yeah, exactly, Abigail. As little as possible. Oh, okay. Oh my God, okay. It's phenomenal. There you go, see? Cherry does this to us all the time. We panic. She makes us panic. And then, like, it's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so... So this is a, um, uh, I'm just being extra careful in this area here. I just want to make sure that I get it right. And this is a, a nice, this is nice for blending. This bit is also nice for blending. You know, soften th softening things up, perhaps, maybe. Yep. Yes. So these inspirations, yeah, they're just they're they're just for us. If you, you know, if you don't have a, um, we're all talking in the chat about um, their inspiration projects. Because um, really, the inspiration projects are only projects if you don't have anything. You know, you want to paint, but you don't know what you want to paint. Do you know what I mean? So, So, and of course, remember, there is an ugly stage. Always remember that. It can't be beautiful until it's ugly first. Uh, it's a good way to say, it's a good way to, to describe it. Yeah. So, yeah, just concentrating on my darks actually at the moment. I just got to make sure that they're in and they're nice and dark. And I got to be careful of my black too because it can make things muddy. Yeah, I know, I know that. I know that. So, I just got to be a little bit more careful. So, uh, also, um, just wanted to see what else, um, uh, what else you're up to. Um, hopefully, being inspired. Uh, and and also, just wanted to also put perhaps maybe a disclaimer. Uh, you know. Pan pastels don't pay me to talk about pans or anything like that. Uh, not at all, okay? Not at all. It's just that I'm... Um, uh, well, I love soft pastels in general, okay? Let's just put it that way. 
but in particular the pans uh, when I use bristle brushes the um, pans are not made they're not the pa pan pastels are specifically designed for low dust low to no dust almost uh, I'm not going to say no a hundred like no dust completely 100% but as low as soft pastels can be dust right. and again like I mentioned you know you have all of these kinds of tools that can be used these are sponges and then there's uh, applicator sponges and for detail and stuff like that these are soft tools here which I have used and which I continue to use right uh, and there's all kinds of shapes so I'll just bring these out so you can see you know there's different shapes of sponges and stuff like that you know so and there's there are these which also sorry hang on a sec can be used I mean now artists are using them when they've got their soft when they've used their soft pastels for example uh, they might use tools to blend instead of using their fingers so anyway so like I said uh, these pans are made for made to be used with uh, soft tools the bristle brushes do create the dust but I'm um, you know I understand and I'm okay with that so that's why you'll see you know a bit of powder on here you know yeah oh and yes uh, Abigail says yes if you want to use purple for the darks it's okay we won't tell <laughs> you know what I tell you what Abigail I was thinking it I'm thinking oh I'd really like to use violet extra dark and and I know that that is going to take it to the next level I know that so I'm going you know I always say I'm going to refrain I'm going to refrain but I reckon I will use it in the end we said limited palette we're limited aren't we <laughs> yes but I yeah I because I love using violet I love using violet in uh, uh, in my portraits and I also love using oh, there see there it is see there it is there violet extra dark that would be perfect let's just put that to the side okay uh, also what I enjoy in using for portraits is the turquoise extra dark or turquoise shade they're the two that well these because and and I'll tell you why I like using them one two three there we go the reason why I like using those is because when you I mean perfect example here we go you know you can sort of um, our veins are the turquoise shade right so and sometimes like in our face you know you'll see you know I'm not I'm not saying that you see veins in your face but I think using those sorts of colors just makes your portraits pop yes so yes Abigail you are correct go for it all is fair in art and war <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy <laughs> yes. yes it is <laughs> Yes, it is. All right. Now, as you can see, the eyes, they're, they're nowhere near done. Okay, just letting you know. They're nowhere near done. But they're done enough for me to work the portrait. Yeah, I'm one, I'm, I'm one of those people that can't do... They can't do, they can't move forward in a portrait unless the eyes are done and that goes with the animals as well too like 
have to have that done. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, um, also that's yeah. That's what I've got to tell you. Also, we're we're very well uh, weather wise. I'm saying sorry. Uh, we're in autumn, and you're not going to believe it. Today is the first not it coolish day. When I say coolish day, it's probably about. Uh, 16 degree or oh, 18 18 degrees I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit but it's 18 degrees here yeah <laughs> I know that sounds funny coolish uh, <laughs> yeah it's funny when I say that to um, people that live in the northern hemisphere where it um, you know it's bloody freezing half the time like in winter time or some um, in some um, winter time you know you go below zero yeah I know okay okay I'm going to do a poppy with pastels Wow actually now that you talk about poppy uh, looking forward to seeing that, Nuria. Um, for us, um, what's coming up in what's coming up in um, in a couple of weeks is Anzac Day, and it's for the Australians and the New Zealand soldiers that go back to the First World War, where we celebrate our uh, our soldiers from the past, and of course now present, of course, who fought for us. And uh, the poppy is the symbol or the flower uh, that people um, wear, perhaps maybe on their lapels in surfaces, uh, in services for, and um, and it's ah oh, yes. So you just reminded me of that, and you know I've got two boys that are in the arm in the Australian Army, so it's always a big deal. It's always been a big deal for me, even more so now that my, my boys are in the army, yeah, in the Australian defence, yes. But yes, no, that's, you just triggered that for me, yeah. And I'm quite proud of my boys, you know. You know, they don't feel that it's, to them it's like a, a job. You know like a normal job and of course it is but um, to someone like me it is a, a big deal you know much respect okay okay I was on the art Facebook last week and there was a lot of amazing pieces horsewoman uh, I was on the art Facebook last week can you please tell me what your name is so I can look out for you that's what I want <laughs> is it on share your art with extra art that you popped in um, or you know just direct message me okay so I can send you this please 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 do that <laughs> okay I'll send it to you today all right here we go I'm going to start to go now a little bit lighter cam oh so it's you oh okay all right cam because I think I wasn't sure I wasn't sure okay now that because because I, I sent you a message saying that you're on the list on the waiting list so okay all right cool 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 okay okay gotcha okay all right well then I will send you your uh, uh, your piece okay I wasn't sure yeah okay you know you understand now I'm sorry You have okay. All right. Well, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> You're my twelfth twelfth person. Horsewoman, or Cam? Can I call you Cam? So 
So as you can see now, I'm building. I'm building layers and uh, and it's also a way that I use in my head that I don't lose my map. Okay, yes, I think I should put my name on here. <laughs> okay, no worries. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going real slow and of course you know I'm also a type painter as well so you can appreciate these little little strokes that I do um, but then you know what happens to me sometimes like then I break out and I go like after doing this tightly I break out sometimes and then I just go loose how is my mind working I don't know how my mind is working but um, So you can just see by that little stroke that I did how it starts to take shape and I'm just building. Okay, I always wanted to tell you guys you are also talented. I'm proud to call you friends. Actually, Abigail, that is one of the nicest things. That is such a lovely... Oh my gosh, you got me all emotional now. I always wanted to tell you guys, you are so talented. And I'm proud to call you friends. Actually, art family. That is so nice. Sorry, you just caught me by surprise. <laughs> oh dear. You are so sweet, Abigail. I love this group. Cherry says, everyone is so friendly and helpful. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Hang on. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, look, I'm... Not one of my dogs is just coming up to me and going... Like this. <laughs> you all right, Mum? That's what she's saying, my dog. Are you all right, Mum? Okay, early 2011, people used to play games with each other on internet, and people used... Uh, used made-up names. They found art. <laughs> yes, there you go. That's exactly right. I understand. I know. Yes, I know. True. No, that is so true, Cam. It is such a great place to be a part of for inspiration and encouragement. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of encouragement here. It's not just by me. It's by everyone here. It's nice. It's a nice feeling. You know, you're not going to be slammed or anything for doing anything, you know. And I know because we're at our most vulnerable, uh, we're at our most vulnerable here, like artists in general. Like, I'm talking me included here, you know. You know, because what you're doing, uh, you feel emotionally attached to. I'm not saying all the time, but well, I'm, uh, I'm uh, well, I'm I feel very attached to this piece. A lot. I really love it. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, Cam, everyone is very nice here. Um, and you're all very understanding as well. Like, I've had some difficult times with my family. When I say with my family, like, my parents are not well. You know, they're aging. And I'm just trying to um, uh, help them. Be comfortable. I can't change their their health situation, but I can make them feel comfortable. 
as comfortable as I possibly can. So you guys have been very, very um, cool with things like that. Okay. This lady looks so regal in this book. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, I decided, and this is where we're saying, you know, use artistic license. Uh, you don't have to do, I mean, you can color her up. Do you know what I mean? But I just found this really striking. Uh, and I decided to do a close-up rather than do all her, um, like her chest and stuff like that, which is beautiful, by the way, with all of the regalia that she's got on. Uh, but I decided to just hone in into this. So I kind of like zoomed in, so to speak. Um, are your parents uh, are your parents close by? Uh, yes, they are, which is good. Uh, yeah, my mum's got dementia, and uh, and but you know what? Her body is okay. It's the whole thing, just not the mind. And my dad's the opposite. His body is letting him down, but he's sharp as a tack. Oh, sharp as. You know, he reminds me of things that I've forgotten. I'm thinking, Dad, what are you doing? Reminding me of all of these things. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm building up with some lights here. Uh, let's see how we go. Sometimes you only need a few strokes, right? Uh, yeah, my mum is in a, yeah, in a hospice, yeah. Yeah, so I've got to deal with that type of thing, you know. My brother's too far, you know, my brother's too far away uh, for him to do anything. But, you know, he's pretty good as well. Like you just sort of tell him, you know, come and help me do this or come and help me do that. You know, and I've got my husband who who helps as well, so that's really good. Yeah, so that's sort of what's. But art is the thing that actually helps me through this, uh, apart from my husband, of course, and God. Number one, God. God helps me um, with everything. Um, nothing gets done without him of course uh, but um, yeah look uh, my husband is who helps me get through some uh, a lot of this but you know what my dogs and my art is the thing that just you know just take me away they take me away Now this, this lady, her nostril is a bit funny. So this is what I'm saying. That I've got to get this nose right. If I don't get this nose right, I'm in deep trouble. I've got to make sure that she's right. Yeah. Robert, hello. Hello, welcome. Okay, what's the tool you're using? Uh... First of all, welcome to the group. It's so nice of you to, to join us. The tool that I'm using here is an acrylic, it's an eighth of an inch angular synthetic brush, which I have hacked as well, okay, to suit the techniques that I use. And so it, um, it's perfect. Uh, and it gets to the point where uh, these, this kind of a brush and brushes in general help me take pan pastels to about 90% of the way. Honestly, I can go, I can finish, well, and you, uh, well you've seen me many times where I finished, um, where I finished port, um, 
projects with brushes alone and sorry and um, pans alone without even using pastel brushes I've done that before uh, so yes Uh, Nuria says, yeah, I love this time that I spend with you. Oh, thank you, Nuria. So nice. Thank you, Shandri. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, Angie says, 100% for me too, Chrissy. Wow. That's so nice. That's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. So this is when things start to happen. When I... And I'm slowly building. Now, if I feel that I've you know I've put too much of one color or this I can always uh, erase if I want yes but I can also uh, go over it like for example here I can go over it and turn it down but I won't here because I really need this area to be nice and light That's why this palette is really useful. I'm not sure if you can see close up of how it looks. So you can see lots, lots and lots of colors. Sometimes you can tell, I can tell uh, when I've got palettes around from previous projects, you can usually tell what I've done with them. So this is the one where I did the bird, the red tail black cockatoo. You know, you can see all of those blues and blacks that I mix. You can see the the greens, um, like in the background and stuff like that. Because then I also mix on there. You know, I also do that. But you could there's the red part from the red tail. So yeah. So I always know. I go, oh, yeah, I know how. I know which one I. I know which project I used on that. I mean, you, I used to keep them because I was a bit sentimental about the <laughs> about the palettes. But I thought. Oh, time to go Chrissy because I had a, like a whole wad of them like I had a whole heap yeah great stuff I'm new to pastels uh, do you offer classes yes I do I um, I I do I, I have uh, patreon uh, patreon with exercise art and it just so happens we have a couple of uh, patrons in the chat uh, that um, uh, that could probably um, um, yeah, that come in all the time. So we've got, um, if, if I can name you, Nuria and Cherry. Uh, they're patrons and uh, they do projects with me. And we do, and it's a, a bit more um, tutorial based. And um, whereas here we, we chat a lot. But, you know, so they're the classes I have if you want to call them classes okay yeah Chrissy has a patreon uh, site where where we do projects together and she gives lessons yes uh, the link should be in the description yes it is uh, Chrissy I saw your beautiful bird I found a reference photo of that bird last week did you really well you see yes because on um, again on uh, on patreon I would say nine times out of ten, and I mean they're all royalty-free images. But some I'm a um, I subscribe to a royalty-free site, which is okay for me to use. So what I do is, um, if I'm creating something, I might take a little bit of there and a little bit of there, and I'll make up something. You know what I mean? But it's, you know, but it's okay for me to use, and it's okay for me to teach with it. Uh, sometimes, yeah. So. I will tell you what you can you know what you can do with it but yes yes did you see oh that's good great we'll definitely look into it uh, thank you so much oh you're welcome the only thing is um, I'm going to try to uh, do lessons from my website I'm just trying to get it together I'm gonna to move away from patreon and because it's so difficult and I feel so bad for those who are trying to find projects patreon is so difficult sometimes to find something so and of course you know if you have issues in trying to find links and stuff like that just let me know and I'll direct you to them but yes I do have patreon um, yeah Kathy hello I'm here better late than never 
You're never late. <laughs> you, are, you are on time. Not to worry. You are here. How are you, Kathy? Hope you are well. So as you can see, just adding a little bit of light, something light, um, helps. Yeah, so uh, Robert, um, if I can call you that, yes, um, yeah, on uh, Patreon, um, it's almost, um, they're almost like intimate art lessons, to be honest. Uh, if you because I usually have live streams where you can uh, chat with me and ask me questions as I'm doing uh, projects uh, you'll probably get uh, a lot of tips uh, any kind of uh, tip that I come across usually patreon will be the first to um, uh, find out about it yep and we do nice, interesting, we do interesting um, uh, projects. Now, our next project on Patreon, by the way, because it's been requested by the group, is a, um, uh, we want to loosen up because we've been doing a lot of tight stuff and we're going to do some impressionistic, we're going to do an, impression, uh, an impressionistic type project. So, um, and it, we're going to loosen up. And when I say impressionistic, um, I'm not quite sure whether you can see me. Uh, there's a few, there's a few that I've done. A portrait, in fact, where I've used every all the the most vibrant colours you could possibly think of, except for skin tones, and yet you can still see that it's a portrait bold strokes and this kind of thing so yes okay um, uh, Avagar says isn't she the queen from Eddie Murphy's film coming to America she looks so familiar you know what yeah I mean, the the reference that I know uh, I know the one that you're talking about, and isn't she beautiful? Um, uh, this, I mean, when you look at the image, it was probably based on a, of course, a real person, but it's digital, okay? So it's a digital reference. I mean, that doesn't matter for us, does it? Uh, I mean, it really, um, this reference is a guide. You know, you can, you know, you can do whatever you like with it. Now you know what the lips are like the eyes to me like for example doing this portrait I've just got to do these lips I'm gonna leave this bit here for the moment it's not finished by no means this side I've just got to do a bit of the lips because it's driving me crazy it's like the eyes <laughs> okay Silke hello hi Chrissy and everyone I hope you are all doing great yes thank you for popping by to say hello hope all is well in Queensland Silke is from Queensland, by the way, everyone. All right, so this bit here oh, needs to be darker, the background. Ah, all right. I will fix that. Wow. See, this is what happens. No, I've got to fix it. See, that's the thing with uh, pastels. 
you can fix. Mind you, I used the uh, soft tool sponge, the round one, uh, for applying the background. I already can start to see that I should go darker here. I can see it. That's what I mean. That's better. Lots to improve, I think, on here, but bit by bit. Yeah. There we go. Okay, yes, all is fantastic. <laughs> this is okay, yes. Um And again, the lips are like the eyes. I mean, you know, if you don't get that right, the whole portrait looks wonky, doesn't it? Yeah. Wonky. That sounds funny. Um, it's an Aussie term that we say. Wonky, like weird. Sorry. I've got to remember. <laughs> We get those lips in, hey? Well, they, uh, well, they won't be detailed or anything like that. But at least if I get something in, it won't look weird to me. Okay, you've been okay. Avagar says been watching, been watching videos about pigment. I learned that dyes are made from anything above ground and pigments are made from materials underground every color will change with time pigments too yes yes absolutely and that's why sometimes people go oh they talk about light fastness and things like that you know look I'm, I'm into that I'm not saying that I'm not I'm into um, if you're, you know, spe uh, well, specifically if you're doing commissions and stuff like that, you know, you try to get the best quality um, pigmented art supplies because you don't want it to fade. But yes, I agree. They will change in time. The environment is, you know, you're putting these things above ground now, like the pigments from underground. Of course they're going to change. There's light. There's uh, atmosphere like temperature of course it would change and it's all because the binders uh, I, I suspect I don't know for sure but it makes sense when you think about it. it's the binders that kind of I suppose protect the uh, the pigment you know okay oh Neo, hello nice to see you hello I've been long away here oh wow oh my gosh Okay. Okay, Cherry. Okay. Um, good night, Cherry, my dear. Um, thank you so much for popping in. Uh, it, it must be late for you. Uh, wow. Eight, uh, 20 minutes past one at night. Oh. Oh, that is late. Okay. Yeah, this is weird. Now she's got teeth, right? But, well, of course, teeth aren't. Although they would have white, white teeth. But I'm going to go real light here. Believe it or not, they're her teeth.
She's trying to, this portrait, she's trying to come through, isn't she? She's trying to come through and she's coming through gently, gently. Okay, silk aces. Okay. Okay, so much has happened, Neil. You've had a surgery, a uh, shoulder surgery. Oh, I hope that you're. Oh, I hope that you get well soon. Or that you're getting better. Uh, Silke says, I uh, watched a video yesterday where the lady made her own oil pigment sticks. Have you tried that? Looks pretty messy. Hmm. I would think it would, hey. Okay, she's trying to come through. Look, she's she's getting there. She's trying to come through. We're getting there. We're getting there with her. Um, oh, Cherry, you're going? Yeah, good night all. I'm out tomorrow with my granddaughter, so better find some energy. Yes. Uh, uh, Abigail says, she, you like messy art supplies? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Cam. Yeah, she's coming through now. She's coming through. She's still, mm, still there. But we at see this, and so this is very encouraging for me when I um when I do these um when I'm doing this portrait, particularly when um uh, like that's when the eyes are coming in, you know, the lips. So the lips have just come through now. I'm really happy with the way she's sort of coming through, but there's so much to. I just, uh, I just love looking at her. She's just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. You know, I've got to make sure that I get those highlights in the right places. This brush is magic doing that. Yeah, just one little stroke. Sorry, I've gone all quiet. I'm just just concentrating on this bit here. It's just a bit too bright, so just turn that down a little bit. Uh, okay, Debbie says, Chrissy. Uh, you are so blessed to have a great group of people and wonderful conversations between everyone. Plus, we all enjoy what you have to share with us through your beautiful artwork. Thank you so much. That's also very nice. 
It's also very nice, thank you. I think this group is nice. I don't even know why I'm getting upset. Why do I get all sooky? I get all sooky. I get too sooky. <laughs> I wish I didn't get sooky like that. <laughs> but I feel the same. I just think it is too. Yes, most definite. Agree wholeheartedly. It's a beautiful group. just a little bit more here bit by bit there we go oh she's looking gorgeous um, okay all right folks I think this will be enough for today uh, yes yeah, so um, we just kept on building layers so I'm going to go on to share your art with X Art. I'm going to have a look at your works in progress as well. And um, I just wanted to uh, say for all of those who are celebrating Easter, Happy Easter. Uh, and for all of those who are having a break, a nice break, have a nice uh, break and uh, happy holidays. Um, I'll be here next week. Um, and uh, thank you all for um, for all your lovely um, for all your lovely comments. I love this group too. You're you're so so sweet, so so sweet. Anyway, thank you all, and um, we're just going to keep on going with this and see what happens to her. Okay, all right then, everyone. Bye for now, and uh, we'll see you next week, God willing. Bye for now. <laughs>